Welcome champions! My name is Archam and in today's video we're going to be continuing our cheap trap base video series. So this video is going to be going over the more upgraded version of the base that we covered in the last video. If you missed part 1 of this video series and you'd like to go check it out, please click this annotation here. So yeah, this base design is basically just a more upgraded version of the last base. The last base design couldn't really stand up against raiders, so this base design hopefully fixes some of those issues. So even if someone dismantles the first trap, there's still a good chance that they're going to step on one of the other traps just because there's so many of them. So if they try to jump in after they've destroyed one of the first traps, they're going to get trapped. Or if they try to boost in, they're also going to step on one of the traps up on the roof. So as usual guys, I'm going to show you some gameplay of the trap base, and then right after that, I'll show you how to build it. Oh, shit. Someone's right outside. Fuck. <laughs> Hello. Well, that was nice of them. I'm sorry, what was that? Okay. Get okay. can I not have my that stuff? I I kinda killed him. What stuff? The the stuff on that guy's body, I killed him. He had an AK. You you guys don't AK look like heavy. you guys you don't look like you need AKs. <laughs> How can you see us? Magic. <laughs> Good job. I applaud you. I fucking applaud you. That was good. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I wouldn't come up here. I've got- they're hidden all over the place. So, yeah, so if you come up here and you're like, Oh, hey, I'm so smart. I just destroyed the stairs. You jump up, boom. Gotcha. I didn't expect that. I just seen the ones in front. Uh-oh, watch it. Oh, got customers. Sounds like one person. Hello? <laughs> oh, he sounds friendly. Hello? Anybody in there? Base. I had an auto turret on me, I was gonna give you. That sounds pretty convincing. What is going on? I've got a shotgun and an auto turret. You can take it. And help oh, me. hey man. Here, let me take your weapons off That's of you. Me, buddy. You got an auto turret. Oh, yeah, you go. I've got an, I dropped an auto turret. Yeah, I was gonna give it to you. Oh, well here, but here. I've got a base well, so and it's wipe day on Thursday, so. Okay, well here, let me help you out then. 
There you go, man. That's very kind of you. Of course. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Sorry about the uh, the trap base there. <laughs> you can have the auto turret, man. Um, what do you need, man? You need some wood? Get yourself a building going? No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm good. I'm just having a run around, but you can have the auto turret. Oh, man. Here, come here. You deserve this. Here, right here. Oh, thank you, buddy. There you go. There you go. That uh, that should be enough to get yourself a little base going. Did you did you want this auto turret? I think I got it, didn't I? Um. Yo, here, just throw it up. up to you. Yeah, yeah, that works. Ah, thanks, bro. That's like two auto turrets. Really appreciate it. You're welcome, man. Sorry again about the trap You're base. You're welcome, buddy. No, it's all good. It's all good. Crafty little design. I'm not going near it again. <laughs> Have a fun wife. All right, you do the same, bro. Welcome back guys, so the first trap base I showed you was our more economic option. This trap base design is going to be a little bit more expensive. So you're going to want to start off with your two square foundations and one triangle foundation. Once you've got that, you want to come on over here and place your tool cupboard right on the edge. Make sure it cannot stick through the wall. That is pretty important because you don't want people to know where your tool cupboard is. I know it's a 2x2, two two, but it will help just a little bit. There we go. Alright, so we got that set up. Now we're going to want to place a door right here. Right here. And wall that area off. There we go, and then you can go ahead and upgrade this to stone. It's not really going to make that much of a difference here. Just uh, leave the roof open for, no for now. Now go ahead and place down your door. Seal that bad boy off with a lock. There we go. Alright, so now we can go ahead and start to add our shelves one place there and uh, go ahead and place two chests on it press R to rotate it come on try to get it right there perfect and do the same thing here perfect now place your next shelf right after that, as close, try to get it as close together as possible. There you go, and go ahead and place down your next set of boxes. There, and right there, there we go. Place down your sleeping bag right about there. And you can place a campfire down over here if you need to. Or you can rip, just place down a small chest right there. Up to you. Place down a campfire. Oh, and before I forget, get some small boxes for added storage. Place them right here so they're out of where you're going to be walking to get inside of your base. Okay, so go ahead and place your furnace down in this corner right here. Place down your other furnace right there. And try to place down your last furnace a bit closer so you're not uh, sticking through the wall right there. And then place your campfire over here if you can. If you can't, that sucks. Oh, there we go. Place down your campfire right there, and we're good to go. Now let's hop on up here. Place down some floor frames. Triangle roof. 
make this all stone. So now before someone shoots you while you're up here, go ahead and place down the ladder hatch and lock it up and do the same for right here. There we go. All right, now we can go ahead and place down our other ladder hatches. You'll see why in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and place those two down right there. I'm going to have these all go in the same way just for OCD purposes. And lock the rest of these up. Just so people can't get on your roof easily. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Lock it up. Alright, now while we're up here, if you have some snap traps on you, let's go ahead and rig these ladder hatches right here by placing some snap traps in them. You can place as many as you want in here really, I think you can fit up to like four. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There we go. This one's gonna be a bit harder to put snap traps in just because of those shelves underneath, but just fit as many as you can in there. There's two. So now let's move on down here. So we've got all of that. So the base is pretty much secure now. So let's go ahead and put down our bait door. Remember to make sure that it's facing outwards so more people can see it. Open it up. Um, place down a furnace in here. You're going, you're going to have to place it through the wall uh, just so you can walk through there. You're really going to want to use these uh, ladder hatches instead of that door though, just so uh, people don't get access to your loot if you die. But yeah, gonna place down these snap traps right here. You really want as many as you can possibly fit, but you're also going to want to keep them hidden by kind of uh, having them sideways right there. Let's go ahead and place these as close together as possible, so that way multiple ones will go off. Alright, that looks good enough to me. Place down your stairs. Okay, so you see right here we've got one sticking out, so we want to uh, get rid of that one. So we've got four right here. That should do just fine. And uh, the furnace is sticking through right there, but that's no big deal. You'll see why here in just a minute. Um, so, I'm sorry, you're going to want to upgrade this to sheet metal, not stone. And the reason why is so we can place some more snap traps right up here on top of the door. You want to make sure that the chain is inside or it's going to kind of give it away. So just place as many as you can up here on top of the door. And there you have it. Now to cover this up, all you have to do is place down a large sign just right over top of that. And there you go, paint it black. I'll kind of give it a little bit more camouflage. It is easy to see if you're looking for it, but most people aren't really going to notice that. So once someone comes up here, so let's go ahead and turn the furnace on here. So let's say someone comes up here, they want to get that furnace, they walk in and die, and their friend comes over and is like, oh wow, that's obviously a trap base, let me destroy that. And they disarm that, disarm that one, like, oh yeah, I've got it made. So they jump up here, and they get snap trapped. So yeah, and it also prevents boosting, so if they didn't do that, and they didn't jump in there, uh, and they boost it up this way, uh, they'll get trapped. So now we have the problem of 
someone boosting up on top of your base to get at your ladder hatch, which is a little bit easier to raid into. So all we have to do is just place down some barricades right here. It's going to take about six, so we can just place these around the base just so people don't boost up on top. go. Don't really have to place one right there unless you really want to. This one right there. Right there. And finally, you're going to want to place one right there. So there we have it. Now let me go ahead and show you guys why I have this set up like this. So the reason why I have these ladder hatches is for one, so you can uh, so people can't access your loot whenever you try to uh, come out here and uh, loot the dead bodies by using that door. So instead you can just go up the ladder hatch. But also, because if someone wants to boost in from over here, uh, so someone comes over here and gets their boot buddy to... Uh, so someone comes over here and gets their buddy to boost them. They come up here, they jump up here, and then they die from those snap traps. Uh, their buddy gets someone else, he jumps up here, loots the body, oh, he got hit too. Another guy comes up here, they're like, oh yeah, we made it, and then he gets hit by those snap traps. So yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you have a lot of fun with this trap-based design. If you enjoyed the video, a rating is very much appreciated, and also, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button below to become a champion. And other than that, I will see you champions later.